The following program contains adult language, poor taste in jokes, racial slurs, political slurs, slants, and all sorts of things that if you are sensitive and have a delicate constitution, you should probably go watch Teletubbies. You were warned. I ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come time. on now, you all don't feel like that. Ha! Hey kids! Bam! Roto Twister. Double oh. Roto Twister. Woo! Welcome to the JJ and Blackhawk Quadcopter Cooking Kitchen. Say that shit three times fast with a rum. That's some good shit. So anyway, I've been telling you guys that my buddy Ian and I, Blackhawk, are going to do a build of his micro brush. And uh, so he's come over. It's colder than my ex-wife in this fucking garage. But we got rum. We're okay. So anyway, I'm going to let him take it over, tell you what we're doing. And uh, he's going to explain all the components. And we're going to walk you through this shit. Bam. Cool. Take it. All right. Hey guys, uh, Blackhawk here. Today, going to be doing the brushless build as Jay just mentioned. Got a couple nice little components here and I'm really excited. Uh, this is the first brushless build I've done. Uh, so kind of Micro excited. brushless. Micro brushless. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the run, by the way. There you go. <laughs> um, so today we're going to be using the uh, Racer Star All-in-One ESC. This is a 25 amp. Um, this is actually the same one I started using in my full-size brushless there. Yep. Uh, you know, very nice little guy there. Really excited to use that. Got the Omnibus F4 flight controller. Very nice little guy there. Got the Eosheen 1104 6500 KV motors. It's on the Bobo frame. Bobo. Uh, that's what they call it. It's like a fucking hobo. Yeah, hobo. I'm calling it the hobo bobo. All right. Well, that's all right. Yeah. So I kind of liked it. It looked like a hellbender. I mean. And he couldn't wait. So he already, he needed something to screw because he's married now. That shit don't happen no more. Yeah. So he already put the motors on. Yeah. But I really liked it. I mean, you got that guy and then you got your hellbender. I right mean, on. to me, that looks like a pretty damn comparable deal. So. Actually, it does. It is kind of, we, we should cut these fucking standoffs down and. Slam it. We'll see how much room we got. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Because I got the Dremel, right? Yeah. Ooh. And we can. We might, we might do that. Hell yeah. Hmm. Uh, Fucking cool. All right. Put right on. Okay, so I got the Eosheen. Uh, this is actually the uh, camera off of the Lizard. So this, really? Yes, this is the Lizard camera. So it is a switchable. It's got the 25 and 200, I believe, milliwatt on that. Um, it does have, obviously, it's got video in, video out, so you can do your on-screen display, all that good stuff. Bam. Um, nice little guy. Only thing I don't like about this is it's running cloverleaf. We can top. swap that if you want. Absolutely. I've got some. I'd like to put a dipole on there. Um, we're going to put a dipole on that. That's easy surgery. No big deal. Um, have you flashed the firmwares yet? I have not flashed okay. the firmwares yet. All right. That might be tonight or that might be separate. We're, we'll figure it out. So his old lady's here, my old lady's here, and there's two little girls in the house, so... That that spells fucked in hieroglyphic. So, you know, we're going to do this as best we can. <laughs> um, and he's got his radio link D-pinned receiver here. Oh, yeah. And uh, do you want to put a real antenna on this or you just want to leave it like this since it's a micro? Eh, we'll leave it like that since All it's right. a micro. I'm not too worried about it. All right, sweet. Yep. So uh, he already screwed these on, as we said. Now, what would you do with that? Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to conformal coat the bottom where the stack's going to be. No. No? That's not what I would do. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to have a drink. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Ah, all right. What I would do first before you go clogging that up, I would take some captain tape and I would start on the bottom, wrap it around nice and tight, each arm. That Because that, you know, getting that shit around, you don't want a lot of stuff in the frame. Gotcha. And that's what I would do. So go ahead and get those captain wires tape. Yep, yep. down there first. And if you're, and I want you to know, fucker that uh, by the way this guy fucking late all the time right i said come over we're all pumped for this and, and a lot of you guys are like what are you doing to build with black hook and it's like 3 30 4 o'clock dude and they're like fucker shows up at like quarter to five it's like really i could have built a bird faster than your dumb ass shows up That's i'm the ugliest bastard you've ever met i need to be fashionably late and get all the assistance <laughs> that I fucking can. yeah right <laughs> you ain't ugly by somebody's terms <laughs> okay here you go oh he wants me to do it all right no, give me that bad boy all right i'm gonna show him how to do it because he's gonna take shit wrong <laughs> you ever seen him wrap a christmas present look like a fucking turd in a box i start hey, at the bottom you know? <laughs> <laughs> i know what i'm getting for christmas start at the bottom like that wrap it around nice and tight and this is like cellophane you can pull it pretty good 
And then when you go to pop it, it pops in a straight line. Beautiful. Bam. Now, okay. who was it again that gave you that tip? My Russian buddy. Oh, okay. Booga -ga -ga -ga. You're out there watching. Love you, brother, but I can never remember your fucking name. So, you know, it's all good. My sister's part Russian, and I hate that cunt, but, you know, no, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. No, right. that's a, that was a beautiful idea. I it mean, was. It really it was. was. It was. I mean, lightweight, reliable, mm -hmm. strong. Good that's stuff. good. Look at that. All right, cool. So he's going to do the rest of that. Be right back. See ya. Bam. Look, he knows how to tape. How cool is that? All right, he can be taught. Now if we can just teach him to read a fucking clock. Only took me 20 minutes. That's all right, yeah. He's like, how the fuck did you pull this? I'm like, well, squeeze your cheeks together and <laughs> snare, pop like a snare drum. All right, now what would you do? Now I'm going for the conformal coat on the base. Why? Uh, because carbon fiber is conductive. Yes. And not only that, but I mean, honestly, why not? You know, if you're going to yeah. possibly negate any issues in the future, in my opinion, you're not adding any weight, you're not, you know, causing yep. any issues, you might as well do it. That's how I'm screaming. Absolutely. Now, I usually put the wires down like that. Real quick. Boop, boop. Now, the reason that I can formal coat, this is just me, the reason I can formal coat the base frame is if I'm going to slam the stack. We don't know if he's going to do that or not yet. Um, he's got this crap. We're going to give him something better than that, probably, but... Uh, if I'm only having like one nut off the bottom, you want to make sure that none of this stuff is touching. Okay, so we'll work about we'll worry about that. Like he said, you ain't gonna hurt nothing. Knock yourself out. Right on. You know what's funny? While he's doing that, I'm gonna tell you guys a fucking story. This summer, and I build a lot of shit, but this stuff, this conformal coat in the bottle, lasts like forever because it's like nail polish shit, right? Do it in the camera. Bam. Okay. Well, I'm not used to your fancy little camera. Yeah, there. right. My fucking cheap ass iPhone bullshit. <laughs> um, when are you gonna get a real phone, by the way? Yeah. Well, I <laughs> look who's talking. <laughs> Anyhow, um, and what's funny is I've gone through four fucking bottles of conformal coat this summer. Get the hell out of you here. You know why? Why? Because every time I get halfway down, I spill the fucking thing. <laughs> Every time I did it the other day, like literally three days ago, in front of my old lady, right? I'm like, motherfucker, you know? She's like, what's your problem? I said, I just spilled another damn bottle of conformal coat, and this shit's a cunt to clean up. I mean, it's like spilling jizz with fucking rubber cement in it. Well, see, I'm glad when uh, actually when I went on our honeymoon, when we went on our honeymoon down there, in Tennessee, two, two single people died. Took all this with me, and I took my conformal mm -hmm. coat. Just in case. I took my tools. I took everything to build. Just in case I broke one. Oh, my and, God. And uh, I'm glad I put it in a damn Ziploc because that motherfucker spilled everywhere. <laughs> it was... I mean, I got a big glob on the side of my bottle now. Nice. But yeah. Nice. All right. Now what? Bam. All right. Make sure you're in the fucking camera. They want to see this stupid shit we're doing. All right. There you go. All zoomed in there. I'm not... Where'd Yoda go? I got to ask you. Hang I flipped them over. Oh, is that? Okay. Yeah, I don't want All you right. to get any of your little jizz and solder on my Yoda. I've seen you solder. It's like a monkey throwing poo. <laughs> hey, you know what? Every now and then I hit them. Yeah, I know. I've seen it. I might have to solder this, guys. <laughs> All, All right. right. So now, uh, going to mount the stack. Yep. I'm going to get all that components into place and start on our mounting of the flight, or the uh, ESC. What's that thing called? That thing right there. The engine. The en Yeah. Whatever Pretty you much. say. Okay, he's got this weird shit. I've never seen it like this. Did this come with that? Yeah, this came with, actually, this came with the uh, ESC. ESC. Yeah, so okay. this is the racer star. He's using these little silicone dumpy ass looking things. Um, but the thing I don't love about that plan is it's going to keep his stack pretty high. Yep. So what I would do... Just me. Use these nuts I would here. use the nuts there. Absolutely. That's what I was kind of thinking, and that way it's a yep. lot shorter there. Yep, yep, yep. Um, oh, gee, with your handy little deal there. Now, something that do it under the camera. What the fuck is this? This isn't a radio <laughs> show. Here, get over here. Wait, you're not doing. You're not uh, here for entertainment. No, I, mean, you I don't... look like Howard Stern, but I'm not. Oh, come on. You need to get your uh, amateur radio license and do your bullcrap there. Shit. Hey, you're not allowed to say bullcrap on my channel. Okay, you're bullshit. There you go. That motherfucker doesn't. It does fit. fucking too. Jesus. This, this, Are you sure? This boy ain't never having kids. Are you sure? You see that? Damn. Look at that shit. You see, you just got a fucking... That doesn't fit. Ha ha ha! Hey! Wait a minute. It fits mine. All right. You, I know. Mine are bigger. You dumb fucking monkey. Yeah, they're bigger because they're swelled up. All right. What I usually do is I just hold the nut and give her a spin. Now, something to consider here. Slamming your stacks all well and good, but sometimes, in my case, 
I will put the receiver under the stack. Oh, okay. Um, but I don't always, and it is kind of a pain in the ass if something goes wrong. So that's what I do. So go ahead and spin them on. All right. Make sure you're in camera. In camera. He's not used to this. He's he's a. I like our quadcopter cooking show. I think it's fun. Man, we need to do it more. Mm -hmm. It'd help if I was on time and give us a little longer yeah, to no uh, shit, hang out. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what a great, beautiful day in Ohio, oh, though, isn't it? I mean, me. this, this shit is fucking miserable. This is a bad ass. This is like going through a marriage. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is bad. It's like what? Fucking. It went from 80 to 45 and gray and. Two days, three days, something like that? Dude, it's been like when we went on our vacation last week, it was like this the whole time. Yeah, it was it was awesome. But smoking hot mama and me had a lot of booze in a hot tub. So when them little trolls went to bed, son, let me tell you what, we were doing some Friday the 13th movies out there. <laughs> I told him, you know, we're both sitting there naked in a hot tub. I hope she doesn't watch this. We're sitting there naked in a hot tub. I was like, you know, this is when everybody gets killed. Some dude in the woods in a cabin in a hot tub with a hot, smoking hot chick. You're going to get whacked, son. That's just a fucking recipe for disaster. Boy, you really know how to sure set the mood, don't you? Yeah, she's like, all right, get in and get out. Let's go. You know. <laughs> hey, that, that probably doesn't take you long anyway. No, it? it doesn't. <laughs> shit. My old lady's so hot, she take off her socks, and that shit's done. I'm like, bam. You get all married right. for nothing. Hey, you got that right. <laughs> Here. Jesus one. Christ, I've had relationships end faster than this. Here, use this one. That fits better. Well, that's the one you gave me the that, first that's off. A, that, that's what I use the first off. You need something smaller. Oh, beginner. <laughs> Is that what that's going for? We're going for rookie yeah, status Yeah, you can here. always tell a rookie uses a screwdriver by the end and not the shaft. Oh, is that how that goes? That's true. You see how fast I did that shit? Bam, forget about it. It was gone. Well, I like, thought that's what that little fancy thing like on the end there was for that spins. Fucking gray hairs waiting for this shit to get done. <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, you do have quite a few of them. You need to get rid yeah, of them. Yeah, no, sh no. Actually, I have no gray hair. I'm just losing hair. Oh, There's is a that? difference. Yeah. Okay. Fucked up. That balding bullshit. Yeah. Mm. I don't care. And really, I want to shave my fucking head, but my wife won't let me. What? Yeah. I mean, shave it like. Oh, you're man. going like cue ball shave? Yeah, I got like a pointy fucking head, too, dude. I'm going to look like a spear. <laughs> <laughs> going to go out with Michael Phelps? You going to go for a Fuck professional yeah. swimming team there? Well, they say he's got a body like a fish. And mine's like a goldfish. But <laughs> if I could shave my head, man, it's less resistance. It's better aerodynamics either way. Yeah. Well, I'm sure the hell ain't going to help your flying. No, nothing will. I'm too old to learn flying. I just build shit. You guys seen my fucking flying. Last flight video I did, I had a head cold from hell. And I'm crashing like $500 quadcopters into bushes. I'm like, okay, this is bad math. <laughs> And then some of my guys on the on the channel are like, dude, I wish I flew as bad as you. I'm like, trust me. When you see me fly good, that's dumb luck. <laughs> I fly better with Blackhawk. When I'm alone, I just I don't know what it is, man. I just oh, I yeah. fly micros better than I do big ones. Uh yeah, I agree with that. I do too. I don't <sighs> know what it is. All, All right. right. Fucking so, forget about it. All right. So now what we got? Now ESC. Uh -huh. All right. Now we're gonna want to conformal coat this guy. Since I pulled the goofy little heat shrink that they had on there off. And I actually want to show you guys the heat shrink that they had on there. Where's your camera lens? There it's right it there. You're short. All right. So let me lower that for you. No, that's all right. If you had a bigger deck, I'd get you hard on and you could like get higher. Like, no, you got like a stepping stool Get Bardwell over here with this dress. Ooh, hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> He'd show us how to do oh, it. Oh, man. You need Viagra like a hockey puck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. Anyway, go ahead. Anyway, uh, ES, uh, the ESC, the Racer Star here, it came with the goofy heat shrink around. Well, they covered the damn tabs on the end. So I went ahead and cut the heat shrink off, um, freed up all that, and we'll just throw some conformal coat on and be good to go. Just on the bottom. Yep. All right, give me that bad boy back. I'm just here to hand tools. I'm learning from Black Hawk today. Oh, God, you're in trouble. Fuck yeah. You know, I quit smoking, but I'm about to learn how again. <laughs> <laughs> you plug a battery into this bitch, it's going to be like, bam, see ya. <laughs> yeah. And one thing I do, do it under the camera. Jesus. See, this is why he, his channel has like one video on it. And it's his cat falling off a fucking lamp because he PBS doesn't do shit under the camera. PBS. He's actually got like 8,000 videos, but none of them are on camera. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, all right, cool. That's good enough. Now, one thing I do recommend you guys do here. when you um, when you do conformal coat these things, don't dip the fucker. You know what I'm saying? I have conformal coated too much and and kind of screwed things up. 
Just saying. A little bit goes a long way. All right, bang. All righty. I'll get a little mounting action going on here. Okay, how are you mounting it? Mounting it. Under the camera. Right like that right there. <laughs> Damn it, man. Uh, you want me to call my one-year-old out here? Maybe she could help you? Yeah, maybe so. Fucking <laughs> Damn. All right. All right. So um, this racer star here, you got your wires coming out the tail. You've got motor one, two, three, and, or motor one, two, three, and four. So just like the full-size racer star ESC, you've got your color-coded wires here. And Jason, why don't you tell them your uh, nice little... Uh, trick to remembering those color codings. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Let, let's, uh... When I use the Racer Star ones, and I'm, I'm colorblind, so I need my wife's help a lot, but um, OBGYN, we all know that's a baby doctor or some dude that looks at twats for a living, which that, you know, I don't know if that's a good job or not. No, because for every one good one, you got 10 bad ones. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. not a good ratio. Yeah, my buddy one time told me you can't pick your patients. No. So that's why I don't want to be a gynecologist. But anyhow, uh, <laughs> I remember it as OBGYN. Orange, I don't know what color is what. Orange, what is that? Blue. Blue, yep. Yellow blue and green. green. OBG, yeah. Orange, blue. That's out of order. It's supposed to be OB. G Y. Oh, it is. Oh, this Ooh. one's different. But either way, it's some funny shit on the bigger ones. Yeah. But it doesn't matter because we're just gonna wire the fucker up and we're going to remap it in beta flight. <laughs> I think. Um, and also, this is something dipshit here did not do. Make sure that it is seated against those nuts, and make sure that it's not touching the carbon fiber. Even though he conformal coated it, you know, better safe than sorry. But you want that level. Because you're going to be mounting your board to that, your your flight controller, so we don't want any of that uh, being at an angle. So, other than that, we're just going to cut these fucking flying, these are called flying leads, in my world anyway. Uh, we're going to cut those flying leads off and hot, hard solder this piggy anyhow. So, next thing, uh, what would you do next? All right. I'm going to put you in shot here. Bam. Don't move the fucking bird. Let the people see something. Yeah, because you know why, guys? Blackhawk's my brother, but I love to, for you to see his soldering. Oh, fuck. Seriously. I have wiped my ass with more accuracy than this guy solders. So, <laughs> on the spot. Oh, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to have him solder a few, and then we'll, we'll do the rest off camera. But anyway, <laughs> he wants to tin all uh, 12 of those leads. So. Yeah. So, soldering iron on. Good to go. Yeah. And, Beautiful. guys, this stuff right here. I'm not moving my helping hands because I'm lazy. This is what we click. Stick your, stick your soldering iron in there. Well, fucking, that's why he solders like shit. Sit it in there and set it. Okay, and you twist your soldering iron. Ouch. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this, guys, you can buy this shit for 75 cents a ton. Okay, it cleans your, put this tip under there. Where are we at? He's there short. we are. He's short. Yeah, anyway. Um, this cleans your tip, kids. And you know what? Look Get at that. Focus Bam. in there. Come on. Where's your focus at? There, there it you is. go. Um, th pretend this is pussy. Get in it as much as you can. Keep, especially with micros, you want your soldering tip clean. <sighs> okay? So. Bam. All right. Go ahead All and right. tin them up. So did you end up getting more of uh, your micro, your tiny solder there? I did. All right. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it? Yeah, it's okay. Is it lead free? No, no, fuck. Me. I was gonna say. Have you met me? That's why I was wondering. I was Get your head out of the fucking way. That's Jeez. probably why I solder so bad. <laughs> oh man, look at that rat shit. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Something I suggest, if you're using a fine tip like this, use it to your advantage. If you're soldering on a wide pad, which this is considered a wide pad, lay your soldering tip down so you get more contact on the surface. And there's a holder there for a reason. I know. I'm Jesus. trying to burn the hell out of myself like you did. Let me see. I'm stealing, stealing focus here. Okay. Set more of the tip on there. Bring it down. Bam. See, I always try and put my tip in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he says he doesn't want kids. <laughs> ah, see, that's a bad ass right there. Yeah. Drinking. That's all right. right. There Whatever. we go. Cool. Beautiful. All right, we're going to do the rest of them. We're going to tin everything up. Be right back. You got some wires. Bam. We're back. Okay, cool. Now what? All right, so now is the fun part. Now is the fun part. This is the easy part. part here. Yeah, now we're going to... Start Under the camera. Start shortening these, these leads. 
I know you're all zoomed in. Look at that. Hang well, on. I don't even. I don't even have to. There. Look at that. Now I got plenty of room yeah, to move technology around. Technology 101. With. I'm about ready to go get the wrong. All right. Fucking hell. <laughs> um, no. Now I want to shorten leads. You know, you don't want all that crap hanging in there. You don't want all that freaking excess wire. So right. uh, now I want to kind of take them up here, look at, uh, you know, just kind of do a quick measure on them. Okay. So where's your dikes at? There you go. Oh, you got a full, damn. <laughs> you got a full rack of them. We got everything here. All right. So do, do, do. We've got. One, two, and three. Bam. They're too long and too short, kids. Absolutely. And you notice I did all three there at the same time. Like he said, better too long, too short. So I've got a little extra length on all of them. The two on this side are definitely a lot longer, but that's all right. I can it, shave that down. It a actually bit. helps if you measure, like what he did, take all three wires and measure it to the last, the fourth pad. That gives you enough wire every fucking time. Absolutely. Just FYI. So take all three of them, drag them over to the fourth pad, bam, cut them. <laughs> yep. You're never going to go short there. Nope. Right. All right. So I'm going to do all three of the all three of the rest mm. of those, get them soldered up, and we'll be right back. Well, no, we're not. No? What I would do then, real quick, before we, we cut real, this is how professional our shit is. We're going to strip all three of them and tin the first one so you guys can see what we're talking about. Uh, okay. Uh, I like to assume I'm not like Bardwell, where I think everybody in the world, <laughs> everybody in the world is dumber than me. That's not the case. But um, there are a lot of people out there that are not used to soldering and tinning. Gotcha. So what he's going to do now is tin these wires. How I do this, I always put the soldering iron on the back side of the wire, and then bring the solder over and that's actually when you showed me that i have never done it a different way since yeah. i mean it, it it works well that it way really you always know you've got it all the way around so you hold right there on yep. the back side and drag bam and yep. hold and drag yep you don't need a ton and one more hold and drag right there yep. and actually we'll go a little farther down the base there because we'll probably end up cutting that one down a little bit now one thing you got to watch too on cheap motors and these are actually pretty good these have really nice wires on them i will say i've never used these motors these what are these e -shines. E -shines? Yep. um they have good silicone on them okay uh, if you get wire motor wires that have the plastic sheath on them and you get the heat too close to them, they fucking burn down and it's a pain in the ass. And then what was those junkers I used oh. the other day? Those fucking racer stars, man. They look like, right down. So, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and tin all these up. I actually it stops to, uh, stopped even stripping those. I actually just use my uh, and just burn iron through and them. Just burn through it, and I, it actually it strips itself almost. Yeah, it that's really not does. good at all. No, because heat is the devil. Yep. Okay, so measure to that. Bam, done. And use your thumbnail to strip them, and you won't have a problem. So we're going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Be right back. Hey, we're back. We stopped. We ate. We drank. Your old lady cannot handle her shit. At all. One fucking drink, man. Bam. She's like fucking seeing pink elephants. Really funny shit. Anyhow. I don't like to spend a lot of money on alcohol, as you can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I guess not. It takes like $400 to get me drunk. And yeah, he's got a cheap date there. So, uh, where do we leave off? All right. Left off. Uh, got the wires tinned up. Mm -hmm. Got the pads tinned up. It's time to attach the wires to the pads yes. on ESC. Do you, kids that you've never built these before. Wire your motors up before you put your FC down, flight controller, or it just makes shit really difficult to do. Now, invest in a tweezers when you build micros. I'm telling you right now, that is just money in the bank. Okay? Bam. Don't move the quad, and that way you'll stay in camera and keep your big fat fucking head out of the way. All right, here That's we go. What I can do. So, one thing that I try to do and it's really not necessary. It's just what little tiny bit of me is OCD, which let me tell you, kids, is very fucking little. I try to wire my motors all the same way if you're color-coded, because that way when you go into BL Heli Suite, you only ever have to reverse two. So if he goes, what are these? Black, uh, yellow, red? Black, yellow, red, yep. Black, yellow, red, black, yellow, red, black, yellow, red. You know, It doesn't matter, though. It really doesn't. Just wire them up however you want it, and bam, you'll be good. So... 
He's going to wire one of these up for you, then we'll go off camera, we'll do the other three, and we'll come back to the FC. So have at it. All right. I'm going to get in here real quick with this fancy soldering iron you got. Where would you put the, there's the tweezers? Clean your tip, tip. He don't listen. Yeah, I told well, him to clean his tip. What's he doing? He's standing there. What the hell is cleaning for? I mean, come on now. Oxidation. <laughs> Josh Ricardo will tell you, you can't TIG weld with that tip. <laughs> Well, hang on. Let me get. Hey, I've been pretty easy on Bardwell lately. I've been. I haven't said nothing horribly bad at all. Now, do you uh, do you have your welder's mask that I can put on for this? I mean, you know, this I have is... one in my car. Oh, sweet. I mean, I'll rock it for it. That's not a problem. <laughs> you won't see what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> hey, it's not like my soldering could get any worse, so it might help me a little bit. I don't know. It looks like you're working on it. Yeah, I mean. All right, it... kids. This is just for de display purposes only. It helps. <laughs> And it really helps if the soldering iron is heated up. It's heated. Ish. Ish. I was going to say, then why isn't the solder melted? Because you clean the shit off the tip. There you go. Jesus. All right. God, that shit's colder than my ex-wife's pussy. Ew, that's right. You have an ex too, don't you? Fuck yeah. My ex-wife's actually okay. Yours is a cunt. Mine is a super cunt. That's okay, though. Oh my god, look at this. That trucker... I have had relationships look, unfastened. It's not... <laughs> Give me that fucking thing. Give me the... Uh, you know, I'm not even going to use your tweezers. <laughs> fucking kids. Alright. Watch this shit. This is how you get shit done. Heat through the wire. Bam. Okay? Heat through the wire, like I always say. That way you don't overheat the pad. Okay? Lift one of those pads off, your board is screwed. Yeah, it makes for a bad day. And actually, the other day I was building uh, building a different one. And I did move one of the transistors. But it still works. So, fuck it. Interesting. Yeah, my one <laughs> my one S build video that nobody's seen yet because I fucked up and ordered the wrong motors. <laughs> but you guys will see that probably next week when my new motors get. I think I ordered them. Never order shit when you're drinking because you can't remember what the fuck you ordered. No, and then you wake up the next morning like, what the hell did <laughs> I just do? Well, or Move. it's kind of like, it's kind of like Christmas. It's like sweet. When, who sent me this? You, your drunk self, dumbass. You know. Hey, I love my drunk self sometimes. Oh, I spend a lot of money drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I get a present. It's like, oh man, I really like myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sweet. I gotta buy my wife something nice. She doesn't yell at me. <laughs> yeah. Every now and then, though, I'll like go through my tool bag or something for my HVAC stuff, and I'll move stuff around. I'll put tools in or parts in there or something. I'll get out to a job, and I'll be like, man, I really need this. And I'll look in my tool bag and. Hey, I got this. I love myself. <laughs> Every now and then. Every now and then. Every now and then. Oh, it's, it's like my magic toolbox, my quadcopter box over here. Oh, yeah. Fuck me, man. I, I open that shit up and I find shit. It's like, wow, I didn't know I had that. You're no, fine. We're still in. I'm picture. watching you. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it's like, I swear to God, quadcopter shit grows in that toolbox. <laughs> Got right. rabbits in there multiplying. Now, I want you guys to notice you're watching this, and you notice the fuck stick here that soldering did not listen to me, where I said, don't just use the tip of a fine iron because you're not going to displace your heat. There you go. Lay, lay this shit a third up. Why don't you use Oh, my God. A third oh, up. There, there we go. go. Use the heat. There we go. Now, if you're doing really finite well uh, soldering, <laughs> you said I almost did a bar welder. Um, <laughs> then, yeah, sure, use your tip because you're you're going into. But when you've got to displace a lot of heat or spread a lot of heat across the pad, don't just use the tip. Try to lay it down a little bit if you can. It's going to make life a little bit easier. But it's also going to put more heat input into it too. So be careful. <clears throat> yeah, that's no joke. It really does make it a lot easier. This took a lot quicker. Yeah. So, all right. Micro builds, I think a lot of people are afraid of micros because they're so small, but really, I can build a micro way faster than I build a big bird. And I build a big bird pretty quick, but I've popped micros together just waiting for a fucking Blackhawk to show up. <laughs> That's <laughs> no joke, guys. Three, dude. That's yeah. no joke. Well, which one was that? I showed I did up build like, a quad. Just, yeah, you yeah. did. <laughs> <laughs> That's no joke. It's like, dude, I'll be there in an hour. And I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to go out in the garage and... Uh, and uh, do this while you're coming. And I had the whole fucking bird done and doing a maiden flight before the fucker got here. It was hilarious. 
There's my OCD. I'm like, well, eh, it's on the pad, but it's not perfectly lined up. It's not symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is where my problem is. See, I don't do that. Like, I saw the shit on there and yank on it. If uh, it sticks, it's good. See, I'm like, no, it needs to be in the center. It's too far to the left. It's too far to the right. It's fuck that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at this. I could have gone through beta flight faster than this last one. Good night. I just like fucking with him. He's, <laughs> he's fine. Now, one thing. A lot of guys when they pick these things, that's pretty good. That's <coughs> nice. You, you're you're getting there, dude. That's a lot better. I'm trying Seriously. to move up in the world. And that's not bit. even a joke. That's that's for real. I appreciate that. All right, one thing that I do, and he already conformal coat this. Always conformal coat, even if you don't want to waterproof your bird. Always do the motor leads because it will never fail. I could be flying in the Sahara fucking desert, and I will crash in the one puddle that exists. Okay. Or if you get wet grass across there, bad things can happen. Always put a little bit of conformal coating over your motor leads. It's just good math, okay? You don't necessarily have to do the whole thing. I don't really waterproof my micros because I don't plan on flying them in the snow or anything. Um, but you can do what you want. Anything that's a bare wire, a bare connection like this. Getting those power leads in there. And real, a side note, and I'm trying not to make this video long for you guys, because I know that one you and I did last was oh. like fucking six days long. Yeah. Um, it was like Bardwell long, right? <laughs> um, I saw an advertisement, maybe you guys can say something about it, because I can't remember what it was, but it was something about waterproof motors. What? Yeah, and it's like, don't people know motors are They're intrinsically not... waterproof anyway? Exactly. The only thing it's not is the bearing, so maybe. Yeah. Lou? Really? Ugh. Don't don't fall for that shit, guys. No. Okay. So anyway, here we go. Gonna, there you go. Done. So, bam. Now, one of the things that happened with your FC. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Uh, this actually, I got this FC here from Banggood. Uh, Omnibus F3 or F4. It's, it seems like a nice little board. Jay actually uses this on some of his. I now, have like F six of those things. However, I don't know if you guys can see that there, but right between that black and green wire... There should be a red wire. Big snafu. Boom. That is your five volts. And it did not come in this harness. Right out of the factory. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Yeah. Now, it's not a huge deal because we do have our actual power leads for the battery right here next to it. Uh, just going to jump that down to where the leads are here on the ESC. And just go directly off that. We'll go off of these bad boys here, and we'll go to that yeah. these batteries there. But the, the only thing you got to make sure of when you do that, what he's saying, we're just going to jump to here anyway. That so that's fine. So we're actually going to take out that negative there. No big deal. Um, but make sure that the flight controller you're using, if you guys do do this, make sure it will handle the input voltage that you're planning on using. He's never going to go above a 3S on this. What what size ESC is this? 25, uh, 25 right? 25 amp, yeah. Uh, but his motors, eh, I wouldn't go 4S on this. So he's going to go 2S and 3S on this. As long as that board has a, up to a 3S input, bam, he's fine with doing that, and that's fine. That's This board won't handle 4S anyway, so it's okay. okay. So we're just going to splice a couple wires from the positive to the negative there right now. We're going to lay those wires first, and then we're going to put that FC on top, and then we'll solder in. Yep. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to cut this connector off and solder straight to the board, or do you want to... How do you want to do it? Well, I tell you what, after looking at those solder pads there... Um... You want me to do it? No, I got it. That's not a problem at all. Yeah, he's used to using the tip, as you saw. Yeah, so I, that that's that right there. Those little tiny guys there, that's in my league. But no, <laughs> yeah, but that's also what happens when you buy the FC separate from the ESC because these two obviously don't go together. You've got the standard dins here, standard dins here, which is a Molex. They, they don't made up, obviously. So what I do, and what I did with my last F4 board, where where the fuck did I put it? I think it's in this Y4. I don't know. Anyway, I literally broke this connector off on purpose and hard, hard soldered them right to the board. You don't have to do that. If you guys are new to it, I strongly suggest splicing the wires direct taping them up with captain tape or whatever, but we'll figure this out. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna tag off a couple positive and negatives off of here. They don't have to be huge wires. I'm gonna grab you some. There's a, that's a good silicone. Yep, and I've got a black one right there. You got there. a black one right there. Yep. So we're gonna tin these off camera. Go ahead and tin those up. All right. 
good. And then we're going to splice those into the hot and cold inputs. Bam. Not but a peanut. Oh, yeah. Let's see. How do he needs a compass to find the fucking solder, I think, here. I you do. guys should be watching. This is funny. This is pretty entertaining, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Hey. You know what? It works. It works. Whatever gets you, whatever <laughs> blows your skirt up, right? Whatever gets That's, you through the day. You got that right. Where's my little right there? There little it is. Guy. He's only had one drink. I'm on like number. Five, hey, eight. I can still hold better than my wife, though. Jesus Christ! Your wife get drunk off a of hairspray. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, my old lady and I went to Blackhawks reception, and I think I had like eight Long Islands. And I gave you all that moonshine. Oh, the moonshine! Forgot about that. Yeah. Yeah, I still walked out of there straight. That ain't good. <laughs> 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 That's when you know it's like, uh oh. I think you were better walking out than you were walking in. Probably. I do much better with a couple in me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. So All right. get these bad boys on there. So he's going to pop on that positive and negative input there. Let me move the tail. He's going to solder on some input leads for the FC. And now, like Jay was saying previously, side of the iron, not. Especially with a larger. The tip. Yep. Now. What I would do before you do that, yes. I'll do the first one because he's he doesn't want a big old mess of rat shit coming out the backside. What I would do is plan on wrapping these to the other side. Ah, beautiful. Yes. So solder your wire in the direction you're gonna go. Oops. Bam. Okay. Something like that, right there. Like that. Because if he solders it with the wire going that way, he's gonna have to bend them around. At 180 degree, and and it's just more wire stress than you need on the uh, on the solder joint. And make your life easier if you're soldering like this. Don't be afraid of the iron. Hold your wire closer to the end. That way, you're not doing what he's doing right now, chasing the fucking wire with your iron. And I'm saying, aren't I? There you go. <laughs> It's all learning process. Or use the tweezers, whatever. Bam. Well, almost. Heat through the top. Give me them tweezers. Where the hell are they? Here. <laughs> no, I don't want to use yours. You wouldn't use mine. I'm not using yours. My, yeah, yeah. He's using my old faithfuls, man. Those fuckers got some war scars on them. Make sure you're not melting that into the other side. Man, you suck. I do suck. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How many have you built? Uh, what, four? Yeah, I built, what, 200? Yeah. <laughs> so, don't get discouraged, guys. It's a learning process. Well, that's that's just it. I mean, every if you're not learning something new every day, then what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, absolutely. Wiser the next day. Um, and a little tip that I gave a friend of mine on the channel the other day is if you want to practice soldering, the best way to practice it is grab a circuit board out of something you don't use anymore, like a coffee pot or, or a battery charger or something you don't give a shit about. Take the circuit board out and work on removing components with your soldering iron and work on soldering things in. Maybe solder some wires onto points and practice on a dud board that you don't give a shit about. That's good math. All right. All right. Very good to go. All right. So then what I would do with this bam is just conformal coat those leads yeah. just to be definitely saw a conformal coat we had on there yeah. liquefy and burn off a little bit yep, 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 yep. okay so now these spacers i've never used before but we can give it a day in court yeah i mean i don't see why they wouldn't work any better and worse than anything else they're just tiny little a nylons a little easier um where's the other big one there's got to be four uh it is on the screen. oh it's already on there okay yeah. so we're going to slide these down on top of those. All right, we're going with small guys because if we can, we're going to slam this son of a gun. Oh, I didn't use the small one. I, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Okay. You got it. I got it. And I did not hit the hole there. I'm no. not having kids. Yeah. All right. All right. So now the next thing you want to think about with a micro, it's very important your wire routing. How do you want it? So now this almost seems more important on a micro than it does on a Mac. Oh, right? absolutely. I think so. So look at your flight controller. See your arrow of your direction. Now, think about this. If I put it the way it's intended from the factory, my USB is out the back. Think about your frame. Here's the top of his frame. There is a post in the back. That's going to make it very difficult for you guys 
anybody, you, yeah. to set this up in, um, in Betaflight. So what I would do, since your wire leads are coming out of the back here. Yes, I would like the ESC I would rotate in the back, this. and I would like the USB on this side, right. and then that provides the video in the front right. of the This cameras. is the front of our bird. The direction of travel is here. So we're going to have to offset the orientation of this board in Betaflight. But what's going to make this nice is, one, he'll be able to get his USB connection in very easily this way. Plus, his motor inputs and motor outputs are going to be lined up for nice quick access. So that's how I would do it. Absolutely. And then make sure we got to have enough room there. Everybody's copacetic. And it is, I would go with the larger standoffs. Sounds See good. that? Oh, yeah. That would be bad. Absolutely. Now, it might not short. Because of the conformal, but. Why take the chance? Absolutely. Conformal coating isn't perfect either, guys. It is susceptible to vibration. So if you have a lot of vibration, like anything else in the world with friction, it possibly could wear off and you could short out. Or if something gets too hot, it could melt and all this other crap. So, you know, you, know, you want to be efficient, but don't be fucking stupid about it. Absolutely. All right. Bam. Oh, that's much better. Yep, that's I'm where liking, she's at. I'm liking that. That ain't too fucking ugly there. Yep. That, that's a beautiful thing. So now what we're going to do... We'll probably want to pull that flight controller back off because I want to pull those leads off that ESC and go ahead... You're going to hardwire them? I'm going to hardwire them straight okay. to. Yep. All right. Yep. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to desolder these wires that are the motor outputs, or these would be the motor inputs, the ESC, and then we're going to hard solder these. We're going to cut this connector off and hard solder them right to the board. We're not even going to pay attention to the motor order. I, we will remap them in beta flight. It's just not even worth fucking doing. Um, try to say, oh, did I get this one to that one? And that was... <laughs> All you gotta do is test it and made a flight, and it's it trusts. Show my little box I doodled on with my. Oh, camera. that's right. He's got a Blackhawk doodle. Check I it got out. A Blackhawk doodle. I gotta get that shit on a T-shirt, man. Yeah. That's like, fucking. I don't even know what that means. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this off, tin these up real quick. We're gonna direct solder them right to here, and we'll be right back. Bam. Bye. Bam, we're back. It only took him like six fucking hours to do that. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm about two more drinks down now. You did a good job. It doesn't look bad at all. So we basically took the lead out of the FC, cut the Molex off, excuse me, and we reattached it. So in beta flight, we go to set this up. We are going to have to test all that out, and we'll have to remap. So now what's next, kid? All right. Now we are in pretty good shape. We should be able to go ahead and put that FC on. Okay. And we are going to line this up so the Molex connector for the motor outputs is going to the Molex this way. In the rear. Okay. Now think about... Your positive and negative here, okay. and that is getting wired right to there. Yep, be yep. negative, be positive. So we can just leave those hanging out. We can leave those hanging or, out, or we can tuck them in, come out the let's left. Let's go side. this way. Yep, here. that's what I was thinking. Yep, he always steals my shit. <laughs> Stole my fucking intro. You guys see that shit? I'm proud. <laughs> Someone's got to use I'm it. I'm proud. I think it's good. Y'all want to steal my shit? You go right ahead. <laughs> This is all for fucking fun. I got a job. Mom always told me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that you was got pretty it. damn good. Intro. I thought it was pretty funny. <laughs> Go watch Teletubbies, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, might not. This is like a weird size standoff. It's very, uh, yeah, very odd. Um, it's not your normal micro size, that's for sure. That's bizarre. All right, so what we're going to do, one thing I always recommend, we're not going to do this on camera because this is just boring. Um, one thing I always recommend you do is nut down your flight controller first before you solder because sometimes the standoff nuts get in the way of your soldering and it's nice to just kind of melt the little bit away that you need to. Otherwise, sometimes you can't get the fucking nuts on there. That's what I do. Um, I, I know with the, the full-size 4 one ESCs from Racer Star like that, you can't get this shit on there. Save your life. So we're going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to finish nutting these up, and then we're going to cut these standoffs off, I believe. Yes. So be right back. And we're back. All right. What we did, we nutted down the flight controller. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> He's getting all sorts of solder and shit in his drink. He's getting leaded. Hey, you know what? <laughs> leaded. That's how you know you're a real man, right? Yeah, absolutely, man. Mercury poisoning. Mm. Good shit. Now, 
Uh, so we nutted this down and then I trimmed off his screws a little bit. Now, something I showed you guys on a video not too long ago. One thing that I do, and Blackhawk probably doesn't know this because he doesn't watch my shit, is if you take a little bit here. Oh, yes, actually I do. I have seen that. Yep. What this does is that keeps everything from vibrating loose. And I know it looks like crap, but you can still get the nuts off, but it, it, it acts almost like a uh, thread lock. It's like a Loctite on. I can still unscrew this with a little bit of force and believe it or not, screw it back on. It'll be okay, but you're not going to vibrate loose. So that's a little trick I do. You don't have to do it, but I do it. So there you go. Sounds good. Now what? All right. So now we're going to want to go ahead and tin up our uh, different pads we're going to use. Yes, yes. So, so. Uh, the one thing that they kind of decided to do on this omnibus, which I'm not a huge fan of, which we were just talking about, they silk screened the bottom part. Yes. Uh, they did label all the pads, but it's on the bottom half. So yeah. once you put some bitch on, you're yeah, fucked. You're fucked. So we took a picture of it with Blackhawk's phone, yep. um, just to save me from going in the house with all them crazy women and printing it off. So while he's looking that up, I'm going to tin this out real quick. So I believe so here. this is our ground. Yep. Now, squares ground. Use the positioning to your advantage. Do not, if you can avoid it, do not solder over your board because one, you're going to drop solder in your fucking board and fry shit. If you drop solder in any of these, that's a bad thing. <laughs> or if you hit your soldering iron against those things, it's a bad thing. <laughs> so let me see that picture. So. All right, now remember we're upside down a little bit. Oh shit, that's right. Yep, everything's bass backwards. All right. So it looks like your beepers are going to be close to your videos. All right. Yep, so, beepers at the bottom. Yep. So that's going to be those two bad boys there. Now, what you're going to need from there is going to be... Positive and negative or next. Yep. Now, this is a little different here because they went all three pads on the outside for your RCN. You have RCN 5 and yep. ground. Uh, that's not right. Yep. I know where it's at. Gotcha. Okay. So, so then the top side is boot RX RSS. So when in doubt, tin them all. Yep. Doesn't matter. It takes two seconds. And we'll just make sure we solder it up right. Bam. There you go. So there's our voltage input right here. Make sure you guys can still see this. Voltage positive, negative, all of our connections. Motor ESC stuff is out that way. Ground, video in, video out, 5 volt in ground right there, if I remember right. So that's nothing but a peanut. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wire this up off screen and then we're going to use a pointer and go through everything that uh, that we did, okay? Because, you know, nothing more boring than watching Black Hawk solder shit. Ha! <laughs> right back. Oh, my God. Fuck, I'm older. All right, we're back. You're going to hold this up and explain what we did. You All did. right. So what we went through here is... Make sure the fucking camera can see it. Make sure the camera can see it. All right. <laughs> which camera? Radio station. Which camera? There's two. This is a cooking show. You're funny. <laughs> funny. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, what we did is we went through. We hooked everything up. Um, we've got our receiver here. Obviously depend. Everything on that. Yes, S bus. Uh, we have that hooked into on the outside here. That's our uh, signal in. We've got our five volt and our negative there. Yep. All right, then underneath that here, we've got our beeper, our positives on the outside and negative on the inside. On the front here, we have our video in, video out, which is the blue. We've got our red here, which is our hot and our black and our negative there. So that's really nice setup front there to where when this camera is there, you don't have it stretched all the way across the board, across the entire shebang. So um, on the back, as you can see, ESC wires plug in nice and neat. And we'll just tuck that under there and kind of yep. clean that up a little bit. Always neaten it up afterwards, guys, because really, inevitably, on one of your builds, you're going to fuck up. You have to take the whole thing apart yep. and re neaten it up. So wait till everything tests out first. Yep. Bam. Then do it. And I mean, you know, like he said, nobody's perfect. You're going to mess something up. I mess everything up. So <laughs> it's, it's better to plan ahead and save yourself a little headache. Um, something else that Jay and I actually, I had asked him um, when we were off camera there. Uh, 
if, you know, I was saying, hey, I want to go back through and shorten these wires up, you know, I, they're a little long for my liking. Um, Jay says, no, you know, that, that's actually a good idea to have those. And it's a really good point. Um, it, this is probably going to bust off at some point. You know, if you fly like I do or like Jay does, <laughs> especially you, like me, <laughs> you're going to bust a wire off somewhere. Blackhawk's way better than me. <laughs> I just grew up with video games. That's I all. I guess so. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, leave you a little slack there because when that busts off and you gotta, you know, cut it, retin it, and all that stuff, you don't want to be fighting it. Yeah. You don't want to have to add an and extender he, on there, all that. Crap. And what we'll do to to neaten this up, we'll take a tweezers and we'll tuck these under so it looks neater. But you're you still want, like you said, you still want a little bit of mileage here on the wires because if you have to splice a wire to a wire, <laughs> pain in the ass. You don't oh, want to yeah. fuck around with that. Uh, the other thing he did not point out is here is our voltage input to our FC. This is what we spliced off of the battery input, positive and negative going in. Um, that's important, obviously. Absolutely. And yeah, I mean, like we had mentioned, it didn't come in the actual plug there, but you know, that's okay. easy fix, easy, Sorry, you know, take care deal. of it there. Um, so yeah, so what's next? I think next thing we need to do is swap out that antenna. Yeah. I am not a fan of clover leaves on micros at all. So what we're gonna do, I've got a couple of these to save his ass again. <laughs> they already have the connector on them, but that does not have the connector on it. So I'm glad I know the quad Superman. Yeah, Superman, super <laughs> fucking quad junkyard. Fuck yeah. We're gonna cut that off. We're gonna splice this off. And I, I've shown you guys how to do this on other videos so i'm not gonna get real intense but what you want to do try to only use your fingernails these are very delicate wires and then i push this back this is your outer sheathing like that make sure it's all back you do not want what we call cross phasing that's bad and then what i usually do at this point even though i have not stripped that i'm gonna tin the shield real quick off off camera now yeah. that shielding is going to be your negative. That's what's going to go yeah. on to that. Yes, it's your shielding. Yeah. Not technically negative, but yeah. you can think of it as negative. Just kind of an easy way to consider it. There you go. So that is tinned up. Then what we're going to do, very carefully. Oh, look at that. Bam. Always leave a decent thumbnail. Best wire stripper you ever had. Now we're going to tin that up. Okay. All right. Real quick. What a beautiful little guy. Beautiful little guy. Oh, yeah. Beautiful 230-pound guy. All right, so there you go. <laughs> Bam. Now, it would have been smart to do this with the camera off, but that's okay. Yeah. We don't deal in brains here. Yeah. This is JJ's cooking show. We just do it. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to grab a hold of this cloverleaf. I got it. A um, little bit of tension I... up. Yep. Got it. All right. So you guys see that little hole, that square in the center, that's where your coaxial lead's gonna go or the, the stem. And then that shield ground's gonna go on the outside. So I'm gonna do that off camera real quick. Be right back. 95 bucks. Here we go, kids. And what we did, Blackhawk soldered the center coaxial to that little middle square and then the shield to the outside, bam. Nice. We did put a little dab of hot glue over it primarily to Keep that going. Grab me that hot glue gun. Yeah, absolutely. We're going to do the JJ Roto Geek super hot glue fucking antenna trick. Best yeah, fucking thing you can ever do. So what we do is we take a little bit of hot glue. Bam. Record. And then we set this over the top. Like that. A little bit. Then we hot. We take a lighter. And I did this as a tech tip on my channel. And it's probably the best response I've ever had from a tech tip. People are like, oh my god, that's fucking awesome. And that's one video I actually watched. <laughs> <laughs> Fucker. <laughs> it is a phenomenal tech tip, though. It is. Now what you do is you bend this to where you want it. Give it a good Blackhawk blowjob. Well, you're Make not sure. doing it right. I know. I need to pucker my lips tighter. <laughs> You're never going to get one up on me, you know that. <laughs> I know, I'm trying, it's not working. Yeah, so the beauty of doing it this way, guys, one, it totally keeps in. This antenna is never, ever, ever going to fucking break off. I have never broken one off since I designed this trick, unless you physically break the board, in which case you're fucked anyway, so it doesn't matter. Number two, if you want to change the angle of your antenna for some reason, you heat it up with a lighter, that hot glue heats up, hold it into the position you want for a little bit, bam, 
and it will hold form just like it did there. Beautiful. Okay, so look at that. Oh, looks like it was supposed to be there. Fucking badass. All right. What's next, kid? All right, so now I'm going to want to mount this camera to that frame. Nope. No. I want a conformal coat. Nope. No. Well, I mean, you can. Well, I do. I want to conformal coat this, and I want to conformal coat this receiver. I already did. Oh, did you already take care of that? Okay. I think. Well, yeah. at least that there. Um, and as I had asked you off camera, make sure you are not getting Look the conformal coat. Look how I think I'm trash. That's good shit right there. Woo! Woohoo! <laughs> You know you're living life good when your old lady takes out the trash. Bam! Okay. <laughs> he wants to conformal coat this thing. So, that's fine. You're talking about make, not making one waterproof, not to fly in the snow and everything. I plan on flying this thing year-round. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll see. You know, it might end up in pieces, but that's It's not right. going to end up in pieces. It's going to end up in a snow drift. You're going to lose the fucker. Oh, that's okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm just saying. I'm all right. I'm only flying big birds outside in the winter. Unless it's around the block, maybe. But, you know, whatever. Well, that's what I mean. I'll all sit right. out on my back porch. I'll fly and bug the neighbors. Now, he, he brought up a good point. <laughs> when you can formal coat a camera, do not hit the fucking switches. This one has a switch for... Power? No. What? What, one's for power and one's for channel? I thought one was for PAL and one was for... Well, red. yeah, one's for PAL and TSC, and then your VTX is going to be your power and your channel and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, he just saved his ass. Anyway, we're going to conformal coat this thing. Remember, a little bit goes a long way. We're going to do the flight controller, the camera. Do not hit switches. It acts like glue. That is bad. You know, toe jam and that shit. Mm. And then we'll uh, double dip this just to make sure. I, I know I did one side. I don't think I did that side. So, And then, uh, well, well, before we do that, why don't we do XT30? Do our XT30. Cool. Okay, bam. So he's gonna do this. Always twist the yeah. larger gauge, get the air out of it, you'll get a better solder joint. Okay? Tip these guys up. Bam. All right. Makes life easier if you tip them up. I'm gonna zoom in, and he's gonna go behind, overlay the solder. It's gonna be beautiful. Watch. All right, so you go behind, you overlay the solder, and beautiful, something beautiful. like that. You go behind, and you overlay, and that will take right into that. Perfect. Bam. Perfect. All right. So next, which one of these do you use for the end? Both. Both. Well, it depends on what end—the battery end or the quad end. Oh, nice save! Ah! That was a, that was a <laughs> drunk fucking save. He's gonna use this end. You here. want the you want the female end. You want the end that takes it on the bird, and you want the end that gives it on the battery. There you go, female end. All right. Anyway, so he's got the solid pole. Solid pole meaning not the hollow pole. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna laminate this with solder. Get them good and hot. I'll hold it. He can do it. Sweet. Yeah, right. <laughs> I got enough tattoos, dude. Yeah, we're going to do it with that shit. Right? <laughs> and then uh, we're going to solder, bam, that to there. So we will be right back. Well, actually, we'll let you watch this. Yeah. Watch how elegant he is. A little soft. Well, now I... I did the other one. So um, you're lucky I've been drinking. I'm nice and stable. Look at that shit. <laughs> that is pretty damn that impressive. Is fucking... Yeah, if I was sober, man, that shit would be shaking. Actually, so, I had hand surgery, so now I can hold shit pretty good. Kind of like uh, you do with your wire. Absolutely. Bam. Perfect. And behind, and you lay across, and yeah, bam. Bam. Something All right. like that. That's a beautiful thing. See, when you lay across the back, notice it's all the way around. The theory behind this thermodynamically is if you heat enough through the back and you cross over the front and it melts, you've automatically got the back. That's why I do that. That's a robot welding trick. Ha! Anyway, you got that shit for free. That's pretty cool. So now we're going to find some heat shrink tubing. Let's see here. Because he's all OCD. That should work. That'll work. We're going to take a little bit some bobs here. And we're going to watch him fuck this up. Yes. Get rid of that. It's too short. Okay. I hope they're both the same length. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Close. Damn. All right. Okay. Now the Let's trick. See if you can that. <laughs> the trick with heat shrink. I've not been drinking enough tonight. The trick behind heat shrink. Put it as far down the wire as you can, uh -huh. because if you solder your shit and your heat shrinks up there, it shrinks up like you know when you you're trying to get your rubber off after you're all done and the shit snaps back. That stuff sucks, man. 
All right, for those kids that are watching, <laughs> negate that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's turning red as a fucking beat. I'm going to solder this up because he's like, oh, forget about it. All right, so round sides always are negative, kids. So we're going to do this real quick. Maybe. Maybe. Ooh. That's bag ass right there. Let's do positive then. Hey, one doesn't work right either. Got it. Always try your sister. Before you give up on the wow. family. That's shit. <sighs> okay, fine. Now, this is a little trick that helps. If you have a problem with getting your solder to give way, give it another coat. I'm telling you. Pearls, baby. Pearls. Okay. Well, another uh, point with that, too, is you start putting all that heat on there, you're going to burn off all the rosin in it. You're going to burn off all the flux in it and all that. It. Um, you're going to end up, you know, with a cold joint, you're going to end up breaking it. And that would be bad. Absolutely. Bad in the air, man. Better to put a little extra on there and have a nice, fresh coat of flux in there. Cool. Gorgeous. All right. So then we're going to take our heat shrink tubing. And if you jam it up there nice and fast, you know, itself do it. it. Yeah, it kind of does. This one didn't. That's okay. Nothing but a peanut. Look at that shit. Now, something else you guys can do, and a lot of guys are all fucking gram happy with these things. They want to keep them as light as possible. You can take a little bit of hot glue and put it in the center there, and it gives your wires a little bit more stability. They won't break as quick, but that's okay. Then we're not going to have problems. So, and something also to consider with this particular frame that he picked. What's this thing called? The gonad or something? <laughs> the hobo, bobo. Hobo, whatever. Hobo, bobo. He's got to go between the legs with this, with that stem. That's oh, going to yeah. be a tight fucking, eh, it won't be too bad. We'll get it. Rock and roll. So, next up, we're going to attach your VTX. We're going to give it a twist. Everybody a actually, no, we have to conformal coat everything first. Yeah. So, we're going to go ahead and conformal coat this. Bam, be right back. Bam, all right, we have given this thing a wetsuit. Look at that shit. It's shiny and pretty. This winter's going to be fun. This winter's going to be fun. Yeah, I got Ewad. Oh, Fuck shit. you, I can go underwater. I think I got a submarine. Dude, that'll be bad. But I am going to build a snowbird. Are you? A true freestyle quad that's 100%, like Ewad, 100% waterproof that I can lose in a snowdrift. And it might be one of my existing ones. Um, it might be my frog. I haven't decided yet. Um, because even with that, you want, you want to build it out of one you don't really care about. Oh, wow. Uh, did you bring your transmitter? I did. Okay, cool. I did. All right, cool. So we're done with this in that sense of the word. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take some double-sided tape, and we are going to take the flattest side of your receiver, which would be this side, because you got your antenna, and we're going to take a little bit of our famous 3M tape, bam, and we're going to put a little bit of a square there, and we're going to stick it on the top side of his frame. We're actually going to put the camera in last, because we want to see how everything mates up and sits up. But before we do that, we're going to do a prostate check. Yes. And if you guys have watched any of my movies, videos, whatever. I like calling them movies. It makes me feel more important. Um, <laughs> All right, Spielberg, here you go. Yeah, right? I'm more like, yeah, I'm more like the guy who did fucking Halloween. <laughs> put your meter on continuity test. Put the probes together. And you'll hear that. And we're going to stick the probe, one on each, on the battery. And you should hear one beep. That's fine. Maybe even two. But as long as you don't hear a direct short, you're good. Cool. So before we start buttoning shit up, we want to make sure that that is good. So we know that, yeah, it might still not work, but it's not going to blow up and catch on fire. So we're going to do this. Damn. Just for any of those guys out there that aren't aware, the little beeps that you do get are capacitance, residual, correct? In that case, yes. Yeah. So yes. it's your capacitors in your system discharging. That's why you get that. So like if you stick your meter on there and you get a beep and then the beep goes away and if you plug a battery into it and then check it again after you just unplug your battery, you'll get the beep again. Yep. So that's what that is. It's capacitance discharge. Okay. Bam. We're going to twist these wires up. The reason I twist wires up in these little guys like this is solely to keep them in place, really. Nothing fancy. It's a clean build. Clean build. Okay. Bam. 
Damn, it looks professional. Right. Well, I don't know if I've ever. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever done that. My buddy Warlock sending me his shit, and I'm gonna build him a drone. That's gonna be pretty sweet. How do you want to mount your? Uh, you just want to hot glue your beeper in. Yeah, I'm just gonna hot glue that. All right. In. So we're gonna take a little bit of. And honestly, uh, we can probably. I don't know. Is that wide enough? We can straddle the beeper between that post right there and hot glue it to the back side of that post to the top. Or like that. If you stick the post down between, like so. Oh yeah. And sure. slide it up, and something like it's pretty that exposed right there. that way. Bam. But it's fine. Yeah, it looks not, cool. Yeah. All right. I think it looks good. Swedish. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna bolt this piggy up. Make sure everything fits. Then we're gonna glue our camera in. We're gonna stick the sucker on my computer. Fix it up. Bind it. Boom. We'll be right back. I, I mean, I plugged it, took it Bam! We're back! Okay, I'm gonna let Blackhawk tell you what we did. Alright, so she's uh, pretty much finished minus the programming side. Bam! Uh, we did a little bit of modification here for the camera mount, as you can see. There yeah. it is. Not the best frame for mounting. No. No, it doesn't provide a whole lot of uh, stability or options as far as uh, actually mounting that camera, but I think this is going to do a pretty sufficient job. Uh, nice bead of hot glue there. The technique uh, Jason referred to is uh, pull, stick and pull. Stick and pull. Stick and pull. <laughs> so basically yeah. what that means is just put a little bead underneath there, put your camera down on it, and then pull it up just a hair and kind of angle it to where you want it and let it kind of cool there and dry. Once that happens, you can put that nice solid bead in there and it gives you a good little stable mounting. And then we just secured it on the back by the antenna there. That way, if the VTX happens to heat that glue up and it gets a little loose, hopefully that zip tie will hold it nice and yeah. sturdy there. And you gotta remember guys, as long as you're flying and you got those prop wash coming down on that hot glue, it's not gonna go liquid on you. No. It, it won't. Now, if you're sitting there at your computer and you got the fucker plugged in, yeah, it could happen. Absolutely. So. All right, uh, obviously put our heat shrink on the antennas there, uh, made them a little more rigid, a little more stiff, a little easier to work with there. Uh, mounted our beeper on the back, just a little bit of hot glue there on that post, and bam, she's beautiful. Gone. Uh, plugged it in, and you got that, there it is. We're gonna test with 2S. There you go, look at that. Lights and shit. Beautiful. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna go into the house because it's colder than witches tit out here and we're gonna plug this into my laptop we're gonna get this piggy running and then I'm gonna grab the camera and we're gonna fly it around my narrow ass garage <laughs> and uh, show you guys that the fucking thing works be right back BAM we're back check it out did we do anything since the last video well okay yeah set it up yeah set it up in beta flight um, here's what we're gonna do. This little build video, and we're gonna do some pop tests in the garage here. It's colder than fuck outside. My wife's car's in here, and uh, my brand new car's sitting outside in the, in the cold where it belongs. So, uh, we're gonna just hover test it in the garage just so you guys can see this, this pig fucker fly. Um, but we did go in and set up on beta flight. But here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this video on my channel, and we're gonna put it on Blackhawk's channel. I'm gonna put the OSD dump on my channel. And Blackhawk's going to put the build list on his. And I'm going to link uh, his channel on mine when I post this up. And we'll hopefully get this up. Hopefully it'll be up probably about 3 a.m. knowing my, my fucking internet connection. So we went ahead and set it up on Betaflight running 3.2. We're running the official BL Heli S blah, blah, blah crap. So this thing has turtle mode, all that good stuff on it. Uh, everything's functional and nice. OSD works. Um... I mean, it's re ready to go. It's ready a bad little bird. Bad little bird. Now, this has got 6,500 kV motors. This is pretty much the same build I did with my Lizard frame. This has got an F4 Omnibus with OSD with a 25 amp ESC. His has got the same shit. Both 1,000 TVL cameras, but his is an all-in-one and mine's a separate. Mine's got a 50, uh, 2551. 200, 200. Yeah. thank you, VTX in there. Uh, but other than that, it's the same fucking bird. This is the one I did all my crazy range tests with. This thing's just, oh, badass. But they are identical, except mine has cheap-ass Racer Star 6500 1104s. His has Eosheen 6500 1104s. But I found the 6500s work really fucking nice with 3S. Yeah. Especially with the Hulky props, these things, and th these are the good old fashioned uh, gem two fans. inch gem fans that I threw on there for him. Um, and he's got these at home too. But these on 3S, it's just a smooth, 
it's doesn't have the it's got the perfect punch and the perfect top end and it's not too much or too little of the other i really like it and we just it's dark as it's dark as night outside it is night it's like fucking nine o'clock so we can't really do a really good flight test and and he's going to do an f uh dvr video for you tomorrow or whenever he gets around to it oh, yeah. and uh so you guys can see the end result but we're going to pop a battery just a little 2s because we're in my garage so it's gonna be a bag ass he's just gonna hover it and i'll hold the camera and uh, so, where's the battery? Bam. The battery's there. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, zapper's on. Yeah, this is what happens when you drink, son. Building shit. It fucking flies, though. And yeah, we didn't yeah. even have to drop it from a building or nothing. <laughs> 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 All right, so we're going to turn this. He's going he's gonna to fire the fucker up while it's in my hand. Like, bam. Oh, yeah. See you, son. What fingers? There we go. Good enough. Now, we're going to put it on the floor. Grab my... I got the... He's got it. Yoo-hoo! Little impromptu here. Woo! Bam! Check that shit out. Armed. Bam! Air mode on. Let's see if I cut your hair for you. I don't have shit. Cut the front. The back's already gone. Can you check it? That's what happens when you drink. No. Look at that. This is what we call the Black Ops. How's it going, guys? Hey, guys. There's me. Bam! Woo! Woo! All right. So there you go. Bird. That is a nice little bird. Do a, a fast yaw on it. Fast yaw? Fast yaw. That's not fast. Yeah, that wasn't fast. He's scared. We only I got, am scared. We only got like two feet. We got a car over there, two motorcycles on both ends, and my workshop. So, you know, fuck it. Badass. But it does fly. And uh, just with a cheesy little 2S, we flew it about 10, 15 feet away in the dark outside, and she took off really nice. It was going to be a fast little bird. So cool. Heck yeah. So kids, until next time, keep shine side up. Woo! -hoo. Woo! You, like fucking, <laughs> fucking baseball. Have fun. Been cool. Keep shine side up. Bye. <laughs> ha! You thought it was over. I forgot the most important part. We didn't weigh the fucking thing. Ha! Oh, shit! On the scale that tells no lies. Nope, wrong button. Been drinking. How much does a roto twister weigh that's half empty? Wow. And that, no wonder I'm gaining weight. Okay. <laughs> We're going to weigh this against a typical Fly Egg 100. This is a Fly Egg 100, my build, not this, not the one you buy. What do we got? These are lead sleds, you know, because they're aluminum. 75G. 64. 64. 65. All right, let's weigh him against my 80. Woo. Nice. Look at that shit. Nice. My little 80 weighs one gram more. Wow. And I got lighter props. Wow. Fuck you. <laughs> I was, and I, even, I got frame? lighter props. I do have a battery strap. They ain't worth a shit. Um, wow. That's crazy. So you ready for that frame? No. <laughs> I like this frame. This frame looks like a little hellbender. It's very cool, but I don't love the camera mount. Nope. But if, uh, and Blackhawk's going to work on that, and I'll work on it with him too. We're going to figure out a little bit of a better way. Uh, when we were sitting there on beta flight, when it was plugged into the computer, it did get a little hot and started moving around. But if you're flying and stuff, it's going to be okay. Um, I know my wife or weighs more. Let's try this thing. AR fun, whatever the fuck that is. 54. Ooh. That's a light But this is 100% 2S. You can't run a 3S on this. You can run a 3S on his. His, th this, his will kick the shit out of this. This is a little floaty circus act, though. This thing is fun to fly. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Toad, which I hate. I don't like this frame. 70. 68, right? 65, yeah. yeah. Um, Flag 130. We, are, we know where that's going. 81. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Uh, the Jasonified Y4 <laughs> Custom 67, Dang. which actually isn't bad when you consider how big it is. Right. That's not bad. That's not bad. So I think Blackhawk is actually in the fucking lead. Let's see what my lizard weighs. My lizard build. Yeah. 66. Oh. He's in the lead. I'll still race him. <laughs> All right. He'll still win. He goes over 50% throttle. Yeah, I do like 120. But that's so. only if he makes it to the finish line. Yeah, I won't even make it over the line. <laughs> All right, cool. So now that's the end of the video. Bam. God bless. Keep cool, guys. Keep trying to set it up. Shoot either one of us a message if you have any questions. And I hope this was fun. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.